Hey Hector, uh, we pulled the plug out uh, from right there, and then I unwound all this, I separated the wiring from the knock sensor to the computer, comes here, turns that way, and then here's the plug, this is the actual uh, knock sensor wiring. That's where the knock sensor plugs in. It's light blue and dark blue. So I just followed the wire all the way to the back of the computer plug, which is right there. And then if you can see, there's uh, the light blue and dark blue, and then the one next to it, which is right there, is light blue with a white line so there's three of them right there so we look on this side and you can see where there's three right there Let's see if I can there it is see these three right here these two right here are the two wires to your knock sensor so I plugged in a pin which looks like this Plug the pin to it right there. Fits right in there perfect, see? And then uh, I hooked a clamp up to that. Then I tested the other end on this side. And we got 0.7 ohms of resistance, which is okay. It's not OL, it's not open line. So the wiring to the computer is fine. Uh, we just had to make sure and find a second way. I mean, find out. To make sure that the wiring is good so what i'm going to do so that we don't have to do this again or if anybody else has this problem we're going to rebound all the harness with the protectors coatings and all that stuff and uh, keep the knock sensor wire separate that way we could still do testing i tested the ohms the resistance on the that plug you're supposed to connect one wire to one prong and then go right there to ground. And uh, you're supposed to get anywhere from 97 or 95 to 107 ohms of resistance. And your front one, I got 99.9. .9. Your rear one, I got 20.19. So I'm going to catch that on film. That way you can see. One of those knock sensors is out of range and it's not your fault it's just when you order these other than ac delco knock sensors uh they got to be dealer ones better quality had to do the job once so we got to pull the intake back out and uh rebound all this wiring pull the intake back out and <laughs> replace those knock sensors again and that harness for a uh, AC Delco uh, original Chevy GM parts. Sucks, but so how it goes, how things goes. Um, I checked these relays right here in your fuse box. I got two busted ones right here. I don't know if you noticed them. This what they're supposed to look like? Not supposed to look like. Only because they get water and moisture in them and it starts to degrade the electronics integrity. So uh, I recommend you replace those relays. But you're not trying to sink money into it. So maybe I'll look around and see if I have some of the extras ones. 3614s. That's what they all should be. 3614s. Except for these little ones. Alright Hector, that's where we're at. Took me a long time. My dumb dog's over there, barking at other dogs. It's quiet. I'm the only one out here awake. <laughs> all right, Hector. That's all I had to show. And I got to go through the next step. Okay, I'll talk to you later.